This video will show you how easy it is to retrofit your appliance with an LAE by Intermatic Panel Mount Refrigeration Controller. Before you begin, it is extremely important to unplug and disconnect your appliance from all electrical power sources. To take out the old controller, remove the screws from the controller assembly and then pull the assembly away from the appliance to expose the connecting wires. Refer to the wiring diagram of the old controller to identify each lead connected to it. In this case, the neutral wire is white, the power lead is brown, and the red wire is the switch load that feeds back to the compressor to turn it on and off, based on temperature conditions inside the cabinet. And finally, the black leads are connected to the sensor probe. Be sure to make a note of each wire before disconnecting them. The colors and positions of the leads in your appliance may be different than the example shown here. Once disconnected, you can remove the old controller from the assembly. To do this, press and hold the tab on the retaining clip on either side of the controller and slide it off. Now do the same with the other side. If space is tight, you may need to use a screwdriver to hold down the tab. Now you can remove the old controller from the assembly. In this example, the old controller connected each wire with terminal lugs, while the LAE by Intermatic controller uses insert clamps. Because of this, we will cut and strip each wire before proceeding. Making sure the LAE by Intermatic controller is properly oriented, slide it into the assembly and slide the retaining clips on each side of the controller until they're snug against the faceplate. To connect the wire leads, follow the diagram printed at the top of the LAE by Intermatic controller. L1 is the main power coming into the unit, so in this case, the brown lead connects to L1 at Terminal 4. L2 is neutral, so in this example, the white lead connects to L2 at Terminal 3. And the compressor load is at Terminal 5, which is where you connect the red lead in this example. The refrigerator we are using for this video only uses one sensor, so the sensor probe leads will connect to Terminals 10 and 11. Place each wire into the respective terminals and use the screws at the top to tighten each connection. Tug on each wire lead to make sure they're secured. Once everything is connected and secure, you can mount the controller assembly back into the appliance retaining bracket and tighten the screws. Now you can plug the power back into your appliance and you're done. Your LAE by Intermatic refrigeration controller is installed and ready to be programmed. And if you have any questions or need help at any step in the process, you can call or email technical support at the contact information listed on the screen. And be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube or visit our webpage for more tutorials.